sometimes I use yarn, sometimes I use row, sometimes I use a plastic like a worm or a nymph. Sometimes I run flies below, but if you ever see me on the river, you're always going to see me fishing beads. Now, natural row, one of my favorites. I use the 8 mil. Uh, if there's a little color on the water or if I'm in slightly faster water, and I use the six mil if I'm in low clear conditions. Uh, natural row is one of my favorite, but I also love the orange crush. Uh, it gives it a little bit of a milked egg look. And Easter peeps in eight or six. Really imitates brown trout row um, with the yellow. And then this one, I don't even know the name of it. I got packs of these. It's more of a milky egg look. And a little bit later in the season, I'll run those more than the natural row. Uh, if it's right during the spawn, the natural row. And if it's later in the season, something that's a little more milky. So right now, in the middle of the spawn, I'm going to tie on an 8 mil bead. It is raining a little bit today, so tomorrow morning we could have a little bit of color on the water. I don't want to put on the 6 mil and then have to change up to the 8. I want to get on the fish right away. So I'm going to use the 8. Now, I don't often peg my beads like a lot of people do. That puts it directly on the line. I actually band my beads. So banding... You put the bead on your tool. It's basically like a little crochet hook. You grab the line, put the bead on the line, and now you've got a little loop there. I really like using red bands. Kind of gives the bead a fertilized look to You'll see what I mean in a minute. Now, when you're pulling it through, you want to pull it through so it just pokes out a little bit, not all the way. If it's inside, you're going to have too much of a 90 degree angle the hook coming off. You want it to hang down. But you don't want to pull it through so far that the bead will slide up and down the line. You've got bunny ears there. And you're just going to trim those off. Now, don't trim them too, too tight to the bead. Or it'll pop through easier. That's your finished product right there. Now, you can see when you band it, the egg is free of the line and you get a lot more movement in the water as a result of that. When you peg a bead, the bead is attached on the line and you have a lot less movement and I'm convinced that makes a difference when it's drifting. And I run my bead about two fingers from the hook and I use a size 10 or size 12 Gamagatsu or Daiichi.